लेसन नंबर थर्टी वन रोबोटेक्स अ रोबोट इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स मैन मेड मशीन दैट कैन परफॉर्म मेनी ऑफ द टास्क दैट ह्यूमन बींग डू एंड सम टास्क दैट आर टू डिफिकल्ट और डेंजरस फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स रोबोट्स आर बिल्ड इन सच अ वे दैट दे कैन परफॉर्म दिस टास्क एटोमेटिकली वेन दे आर स्टार्टेड और ऑन कमांड रोबोट्स मे बी ऑपरेटेड बाय रिमोट कंट्रोल सो इन दिस लेसन वी आर स्टडी अबाउट द रोबोट्स सो दीज आर द कॉम्प्लेक्स मैन मेड मशीन दे कैन परफॉर्म एनी टास्क दैट वी ह्यूम परफॉर्म they can perform the two difficult tasks two dangerous tasks for the human being the robots are built in such a way that they can perform the tasks they automatically or they may have the robots to operate them a robot usually has three things it has a built in computer program this program is like the robot's brain only a robot cannot think on its own like human beings do so a robot is having built in computer program and it like its own brain only a robot cannot think of its own like we we feel angry when you give some, you your friend did not give anything or you become very happy when you stood first in the school in the class such kind of feelings are not there for the robots it cannot decide whether to do something whether something is good or bad on its own the robot cannot think that the task given is good or bad it can learn and do only what the computer program makes it possible for the robot to learn and do so every action by the robot is performed through a computer program learn and do makes it possible to learn and do a robot does not have moods and feelings like human beings do like other machines a robot can do boring tasks again and again and again without getting bored it can work in dangerous places where human beings cannot go or live now see the robots can perform any task and any number of times when somebody told you to da- to do a task repeatedly for two times four times five times you definitely get bored right your grandma said you to give me a glass of water and when she tells you four times in an hour after every five minutes then definitely you get bored yes na so like this the robot cannot get the bored robots never get bored they can do any tasks any number of time also they can work in dangerous situation so if there is fire we cannot enter inside the fire but the robots can enter into the fire to save someone's life obviously they should be fireproof for it a robot has mechanical parts or a body these parts enables the robot to move or perform certain actions in certain way the do- robots may have the different parts may have the hands or the legs or the wheels to move from one place to another to perform certain actions 
so depending upon what task the robot has to do the design has been given to the robot the different parts has been designed for the robot so the body parts of the robot these parts may have pipes tubes cylinders wheels and gears joined in a particular way they may be devices that scoop up or hold things blow suck sweep etc these parts are designed to suit the purpose for which the robot is built so like we have hands legs the robot can have the different body parts in the shapes of cylinders tubes pipes the hands may be pipes for the robot again we can have wheels as the legs of the robot or different cylinders cubes and the gears are joined for moving to move the different parts of the robots they can hold the things they can scoop up blow suck sweep etc a robot also has sensors or devices that inform it about its surroundings these sensors are like the robot eyes ears nose skin etc do you know the human being over sensory organs you are learned in evs last year do you remember eyes ears tongue skin nose all these are your sensory organs similarly the robot has sensor to sense the outside environment uh, to sense the surroundings these devices are designed and fitted to the robot by experts by who design and build the robots some robots are designed to look like human beings or other living things or they may given other suitable shapes so the robots can have the different shapes depending upon their use it requires a lot of hard work skill and imagination to design and build robots would you like to design or build a real robot would you like to design the real robot when you grow up for that you will have to study the relevant subjects well and also develop a good imagination so dear students can you want to design a robot let's design your own robot use the following points and make a design for your own robot in your book you can see the designs of the different robots now let's see the purpose what are you building the robot for you should know the purpose what for what you are going to build the robot what work will it do when it is ready you should know the task of the robot that the robot will perform then second material so what materials you are going to use for building the robot metal plastic glass or paper etc now decide the shape and size of the robot how big or small will the robot be what shape would be most suitable whether you will use cylinders you will use pipes or squares rectangles which shapes are suitable for your robot now 
decide the path to your robot. What what parts will the robot need to move and to do its work? It is necessary to have bending, curling, or stretching parts. Next sensors. What sensors will the robot need? Where you will feed the sensors? For example, you want to try a design a robot for putting off the gas stove at your home. When there is gas leakage, the robot should put off the main switch as well as the switch near the stove off. So in that case, you require a gas leakage sensor to the robot. So like this, you have to decide the, what sensors will the robot will be. For this robot, you need and where you will fit that sensor. Next, energy. Will your robot work on electricity? Do you need batteries, solar cells, etc.? Where will they be fitted? So what kind of energy source will you provide for your robot? How to operate the robot? Do you need buttons or a remote control or both? Safeguard. What safeguard? Will the robot need to protect its parts? Now draw a picture of robot that you have designed. Label the picture. Describe in short what your robot can do. Choose a suitable name for your ro robot. So you, you definitely prepare your robot and share with your friends and teachers. Thank you.